This coverage is brought to you by Rami Rent. Hello, Disco World. Welcome back to the round two backline coverage of the Copenhagen Open 2022, powered by Prodigy Disc. It's the first stop of the European Pro Tour and is brought to you by MDG Media. On the microphones, we have Stanislaus Armand from Austria, from Belgium, Mr. Maxim Tange, and I'm Mose from Danica from Berlin. Hello, everybody. How do you do? Ready for the back nine? We have seen some awesome disc golf and we have plenty more of it. How do you feel, Maxim? I'm feeling great, man. Getting back at the action after that great front nine. Can't wait to see those two Finnish players going on the on the chorus. So the review, so Daniel and you, Nathan, really clean start. Elias and Rasmus a bit struggling. Let's check how they handle the situation. And on top of that, you see that the two brothers on, are on top of the tables. Really nice. Oh yeah, guys, European Pro Tour, a brand new project. Check it out, check all websites. It's amazing. I can't wait to participate there on my own. Oh yeah. Here we have it, hole number 10, another par four, another short par four, another dog deck right. Only 130 meters, pro, but heavily wooded, I would say. We have seen a lot of forehand rollers on the second shots and and first round, let's see how this player's attack the pin this time. We have this long and straight gap to start and then it opens up a little bit and turns to the right to this basket over here placed wonderfully under those big trees. Definitely a tricky one. Yeah, you have those two options. So take the, the normal gap or you can also go shorter with the forehand and try to go through all those trees on the right. So you gamble for a bit, but uh, it's an option the players are using here. Jonathan is opting for the forehand route. And this looks like a pretty decent shot. He got out pretty far. He's in the open. Not so bad. Exactly the option I was talking about. So going through those trees on the right, just a bit shorter than the, the casual gap. Really nice shot from Jonathan. Also, Daniel opting for the forehand gets a little bit sneaky on the back door and oh, yeah. seems to have a good look at Birdie as well. Yeah, he took the route a bit wide on the left, so fortunately went through. Rasmus going for the forehand also here. Take that gap. Ouch. That is a tough hit, like one of the first trees available off to the left. He's going to be struggling just get back on the fairway from there, I reckon. Yeah, that, that was a really yank shot that, that didn't really look round at all, the movement out of the hand. Let's see if Elias can correct on that. Okay. Well, he turned over his shot a bit too much, but I think he ended up in a more favorable spot than Rasmus did for sure. That's for sure, yeah. So Rasmus... And just... Just like I said in the preview, we are seeing the first forehand roll on the hole. Okay, stopped by the tree also here. Hmm, it will be hard to take the, the par for Rasmus. Hopefully he has a gap. Another tree hit. Yeah, really early again. Should be okay to go with the next one. And this one, better put it close, Rasmus, because, yeah. And he does. Great shot. Great up shot from Rasmus. Oh, yeah. That's not more than four or five meters for the par. That's a pretty decent par save, like, taking into account, like, where his first drive ended up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I imagine his position after the first shot was maybe even worse than the tee is placed. <laughs> it's possible. Okay. 
Okay, bury the chance for Daniel. So two different good. situations between Jonathan and Daniel and with uh, Elias and Rasmus really struggling. Yeah. The two first just hit the gap the nice way. And we will obviously take the birdie. Great shot from uh, Jan Jonathan. Great up shot. Yeah, just an easy jump, but almost running it a little bit from way downtown. Elias. He's poor. Ha. So it will be a bogey for Elias. Not able to save the par here. Daniel is going for it now. Straight back on the birdie train. Oh, Such yeah. a good uh, start for the back nine of the round. Six down after 10 holes. Really clean from Daniel. Super good. This is almost getting boring. <laughs> well, Jonathan also, like, he just kept the groove going. Yeah. Another nice bird from him. He's keeping pace. He's not falling too much off. Uh, really good pass there for Rasmus. And the unfortunate bogey here for Elias. Let's see uh, how he does in the next hole. So hole 11, starting now, 71 meters, part three. So small hill where the basket is just waiting for the discs to come. So straight shot, back and forehand, whatever you're more comfortable with. And just trying not to go too long on the left. You have also that small lake OB. Normally should be okay for those players. Try not to be too far from that hill, not to have a death butt. Yeah, the most tricky thing on this hole is definitely the padding green. Well, that elevated basket in the wind can be really tricky. You can see that flag, um, which is really waving strong in the wind. So you want to probably like end up somewhere where you actually do putt with the wind and not against up onto that elevated basket. Oh, yeah. And Just you have a, a bit on the left here. Let's see where he landed. And that's a great shot from Daniel. Wow, perfect. It's no surprise, but still worth mentioning, I think. This one is the only hole on the course where the whole field wasn't able to make a single circle one putt. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like... Stats are yeah. talking here. Okay. Flexing it. Okay, a bit short for Ilias. It's going to be a tough putt for him. Then you can see it's so hard. Yeah, people are just laying up from 11 meters from what it was. And just like this, I'm Ooh, recognizing. Oh. Nice, nice try from you, Nathan. The hole a little bit for you, so I need to definitely get a little bit more, I don't know, better well, than that. It's all about risk management now. And he gets another row. Oh, this is so unfortunate when you actually decide oh. to not go for it, already lay up and you get punished again. Ouch. This hill is super punish punishing. I mean, we've seen it in first round already that it is scary to even lay up. I mean, to needing to go to the layup on your third shot, that's something oh, I just can't imagine. Man, again, way, uh, it's designed it's almost oh. guaranteed if you hit metal and you do not actually stay inside the basket, you're most likely to get a roll. Yeah, oh, it was a, see a strange decision from uh, Elias trying to just pitch up with a, a nicer landing. I mean, who would imagine having a 71 meters hole almost, I don't know, Breaking the whole lead card. <laughs> yeah, two double bogey here. Just Daniel. Tranquilly. Another birdie for him. Great <laughs> job from him. Uh, leaning back in the driver's seat, watching the others. I don't know, missed the hole. Taking it easy on his own. 
Yeah, only 5% of the whole field taking a double bogey on that one. We have seen two of those. So pretty tough breaks for the lead card as we move on to hole number 12. So hole number 12, bar four. Long one on this time. So 205 meters to have to take that gap here following the drone, uh, the drone line. Trying to get to the fairway here. You also have a door on the on the right. You will see it. A few players are going for it. So second shot is pretty tough. You have the option of uh, the hyzer line on the right of uh, the right bush here, or following also the drone path with a forehand or a turnover shot with the backhand. Let's see how the players handle this one. We have seen an amazing sky and hyzer yeah. in first Beautiful. round. Yeah, it was, was uh, Jonas Alto. Yeah, great shot oh, from yeah. him. This is a little bit more the conservative option from um, Daniel going with the forehand straight down the gap. If I'm not mistaken, this is the longest par four yeah. in the course. I think I, I can confirm that. Yeah, and it's also one of the little bit more open performs. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have the the beginning of the hole a bit uh, a bit in the woods. You, you you really need to take one of the two gaps you you can, and then after that it's an open area. It looks like it looks like Jonathan's also opting for the sky. And yeah, I think right? so. Yeah, yeah, he is. Can he clear the tree? Yes, he does. And that's a beautiful shot from uh, Jonathan getting back. Oh, beautiful. Great shot. Oh, yeah. He's way out in the fairway. That might be, yeah, on the mid range or part of into the basket. Yeah, good, good bounce back for him and... after the unfortunate double boogie. So. And also, Elias having all the power in the world to getting this mm. one over. But yeah, that was just overturned yeah he didn't make the disc fly here so rasmus is going to struggle hitting early branches but he has a gap oh wow again oh hard for him yeah just struggling again that's a bully at best so what road is he going to no. take okay the any uh, the anyone Let's see, he is attacking the basket. That's a pretty aggressive shot, wow. but... Man, so long, so, so, so up. long. He went too far. He's even getting the fist just for throwing the disc <laughs> so far. <What? laughs> Get it back. Ah. Tricky okay. Down. He might be looking at a tricky one. Yeah, we do there. have a gap. Yeah. Going to a knee and maybe... And maybe being able to Jonathan with his amazing drive going for the turnover shot. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, oh my beautiful, beautiful shot wow. from Jonathan. Park job, bullseye. Easy birdie, man. So clean. Such a cool comeback from his uh, double bogey he caught in the previous hole. And he now just parks the hole for an easy tap and bird. Oh yeah, and just then, like this, I need to say this is the second hardest hole on the course in round two, so Jonathan is definitely taking some strokes on the field on this one. So Daniel to save his four. Oh, great putt from there! Oh, come on, that's nasty. <laughs> Going. Down on a knee with a horsey putt. That guy doesn't care. Okay, and you can see that Rasmus was really, really long. So it's going to be a bogey for him. He is trying to save. Oh, that's a birdie. I still can't. Okay, wow. Oh, well, but still, man, I just can't imagine Daniel just made this putt. Yeah, even to save that bar, like nerves. It's It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, does he even think about his score or anything? 
is still bogey free on the round, maybe even for the tournament, having almost outside circle putt for part the most difficult putt ever and just banning it uh, like it's like it's normal. <laughs> Oh, it's it's awesome! Biggest respect to this man, and yeah, oh, so clean, amazing birdie for Jonathan. Beautiful from Jonathan. Great, great bounce back after the double bogey, and yeah, we move on. Hole number thirteen. It's a shorty, only seventy-five meters, and yeah, it's straight putter. First round, we saw a lot of players opting for the forehand as it fades away from the OB. It's some low seeding, there's some branches in the way. Definitely not a gimme birdie. You need to execute a good shot from Yeah, it. and that straight route is a uh, is the, the main option, but you need to be careful with that uh, slight downhill slope that can bring your disc really easily on the road after the basket. Your disc can really slide on the ground here. Nice shot from Elias. It's going to be a birdie look. Yeah, time with the backhand. Don't hit that branch. Looks beautiful. And stop beautiful shot from Unitan. Great recovery after the after hole 11. Forgetting about it. Yeah. Just Getting back into in in his pace immediately. Yeah, great job from him. Yeah, again, Daniel also opting for the forehand, taking <laughs> an awesome skip. <laughs> okay. And, uh, it goes on and on and on. He only knows one guess. He just goes for the birdies. Really beautiful shot. Yeah, but still. I mean, you can just take an overstable disc knowing that it will skip to the right. So, oh, and that's the problem. I, I don't, I'm not sure if he's OB. Depends on if it's the road or a bit more. Stay there. Yeah, again, Elias not really able to find his groove on the padding green. I feel like he, he has. Missed a lot of makeable putts so far. Oh. And another total in this fire. Come on, Rasmus, save it. Hmm. Okay, hard times for Rasmus. He needs to get back at it. But as you were saying, uh, Stan, it's pretty hard to start that, uh, that course the way he did. Now he needs to. Yeah, but he's even struggling on the on the back nine. It's gonna be hard for him. Really need to focus back. Um, Great job. It's hard to back up such a good round. I mean, Rasmus is not the most experienced player, I would assume. We we all have been there, just playing on camera, having this big pressure on this big stage, and just not getting in the rhythm. I can really feel for Rasmus and also for Elias. I've been there for sure already. Yeah. <laughs> Cameras bring another level. How do you build your better game? Reps. Focus. The right equipment. Zuka. Disc golf carts for a better game. So smooth commercial from Zuka. So chill. Pleasure to watch. Hole 14 now. Par 4, 189 meters here. You need to go straight at that gap, trying to get to that grass just here on the screen to have a nicer approach over those uh, those two bushes, creating a tunnel to go to the, to the basket. So... That's the option you can see here. It's really hard to 
be accurate between those two bushes around the, around the, the basket. You really need to take the, the right line. And if you're on those bushes, it's pretty hard to, to get your birdie. And let's go, MDG Media. Jonathan on the tee. Uh, he's, he has earned the box back pretty quickly after his double bogey, playing back-to-back -back birdies on the next two holes. He's going with the kind of straight backhand, maybe early, early releasing shot. it a little bit, but still... That's a look. Oh yeah, red. Is he, if if you're on the on the green grass, you you know that uh, that you have a look definitely. If you stay in the woods, it's a bit harder. Daniel reaching for the new Discmania Zealand FD, and that's smooth fly <laughs> on that one. That's beautiful. Great job in the middle of the fairway. Another birdie action for Daniel. Elias going for it. Too high. Hope he goes through. Okay, so a bit short. Maybe he will be able to uh, to find the to find the road. Should be an easy par. So early, but he's out. That's most also a little early, but still an option from there. Yeah, same spot as uh, Jonathan's. Same place for them. So you can see if you're too short, it's pretty hard. There's those low branches, big branches from uh, the two trees on the right and the left. Okay, still great shot from Elias. Wow. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Great shot from uh, the Swedish boy. There's also those small random trees that might, I don't know, disturb your shot a little bit if you throw it low. If you throw it high over everything, of course, those trees don't come into play. Yeah, too. unless you're just, uh, you know, too close from those uh, small trees, normally it doesn't uh, mm -hmm. really bother you. Oh wow, that must be a pretty old yeah, twirly. Disc. Twirly, he needs to be a bit wider. It's okay, it's okay. He has a look. Yeah. It's such a narrow green to attack. You really have to spike high your shot to just like make sure you don't fade into uh, the trees. And maybe if you're lucky and get your aim right, somehow magically end up in the well open zone between the two yeah. rows of trees. They they almost throw the second shots like grenades. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Really spiky hyzer. Really, really heavy on the up and down move. Okay, it was a good line from Elias. Another bar for him. To try from Rasmus. Show the way, man. Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Jonathan really had the look for Bird. Yeah, best. But he couldn't convert in his Yeah, best here. chance of the group, definitely. So all pars for those four players. Not that big a deal on this one. That's not the easiest. No, but still 23% of the field are birding it. Yeah. But also a bunch of bogeys and double bogeys, so... Not losing a whole lot of strokes with a par. And we move on to hole number 15, which is basically just straight ahead of you. Straight shot from the tee, or maybe slightly, slightly higher if you go with the backhand. Probably a fair bit gravel for most of the guys. If you have a really big arm, you can maybe grab a mid-range. 180 meters. The mid-range option is possible if you if you have that tailwind. 
pretty sure. It, it really depends on the wind. Like that, that 120 meters uh, distance is pretty hard to get if you, yeah, if you take that headwind, I'm pretty sure it's really hard. So for our driver, definitely the option here. Yeah. Looks maybe like a Thunderbird or some some type of fairway yeah. driver from Michael. No, Jonathan, sorry. Michael is his hmm. brother. Okay, great shot from Jonathan. So I stopped by those trees. But whatever, he has a birdie look. He can work on it. Daniel going with the fairway driver also. Get back, get back, get Lifting back. Up okay. Nicely. Oh, yeah. Great shot. That's exactly what from you Daniel. Want. Just let it drift a little bit to the right and have it coming back at the perfect exactly. angle. Yeah, almost back shot. Beautiful line from the Finnish player. And it's just it's fascinating how he puts this good score together, like having a par, a birdie, a par, birdie, birdie. Not never really on a really hot birdie trend, like five, In six row, birdies yeah. back to back, but always always mixing it up. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. And definitely. Yeah. Rasmus still looking for his first birdie on the back nine. Mm. Yeah, late release. Right bush. Should be okay for the par. Yeah, there is just Elias. I'm not sure if he will have a clear look to the basket from here where he, he is. He touched really early on the left. Should be okay, it seems. Yeah, skipping. Okay, a bit long for him. Uh, that's a stressy part, especially as the wind isn't that favorable either on that one. Yeah, Circle's Edge. He will have to work again to save his bar. Yeah, Rasmus in the same kind of situation. Yeah, and not even making the... the C1 circle, I think. Have to work also. Ha, oh, good line again. An inch. Good looking putt from circle two. Yeah, let's see how long the comeback for Bogey is for Rasmus. Jonathan with a nice look for birdie. Take it. Ha! Oh, so clean. Oh, wow. Super smooth. That one was in out of the hand straight when he released Beautiful. the disc. Beautiful okay. to watch. Count yeah, it. Count it. Beautiful job from Jonathan. Three birdies after that double bogey and holy lap. Beautiful job. Whoa. S weird reaction on the, the basket hit. <laughs> Yeah. Elias just having some troubles on and on. Voilà. Good job from Rasmus. Par safe. Uh, bogey safe. My bad. Another easy bird right here for Daniel. He just cannot not make them. Yeah, he's not living the same story. Like He's just chilling through the course, it seems. <laughs> While the others are just a bit struggling to take those birdies, even the pars. Daniel is waving. Easy peasy. And the hole 16 now. Another par 4. 180 meters. You have to take that gap. 30, 40 meters uh, from the from the tee pad. If you hit it, you go away. Or you go out just uh, in that beautiful grass fairway and you just have to try that long approach to the basket around one 100 meters a bit uphill 
be careful with that with that slope after the basket also on the green you can be surprised with the wind but yeah main goal here is just to go out of those woods oh yeah and then on the second shot forehand might be the preferable option as it doesn't um fade away with the with the hill yeah exactly exactly Oh wow, Jonas is opting for a forehand roller. That's an unconventional play. Come on, dude. Okay. Wow. Uh -huh. Well, he clears the gap. I think it's like the only thing he really wanted to achieve on this hole. Yeah, exactly. The, the most important thing to do here. Go out of those woods if you want the birdie. Everybody wants the birdie. So forehand also for Daniel. But flying here. That's a clean shot. He clears the gap right through the center. Never in danger. Very well done. Just super comfortable with his game. Elias, he might want a little bit more. Yeah. You could see him rip this disc through the gap. Okay, he's out. Good job from him. Rasmus following the group. Yes, sir. Went out also. So everybody in the group will have a look to go to the basket with the approach. Good job from them. Just interested to see where Unit has landed. Ah, oh, well, we have the answer on the left. Really unusual situation. He doesn't really have to take that forehand as you were talking about because he's really far left. Really clean spot. Yeah, but he has the option option to go with a big hyzer. Seems like a Halo Destroyer or maybe a Halo Wraith. He's ripping on here. Wide. Mm, a bit now. wide from Jonathan. C2, I think. That's a death putt? Yeah, it can be. Like it's just it's the the, the the slope is really really calm, but uh, you know if you miss the basket, you can oh definitely go a bit far from uh for your comebacker. So a bit far from for Daniel, but uphill putt, so no worries for the next one if he misses. Mm, looks wide. Don't roll away. Nice shot. Yeah, really nice shot. Well, yeah, that's a decent position. Good one from Elias. Where do you look for him? And Rasmus, the only one who is able to go with the forehand approach. Looks really good. Oh, not the skip he was looking for. So everybody has a birdie look, but everybody has to work for it. Yeah, the second part of the whole play is completely different than the first. The first is just a technical shot, get out of the woods. The second part is like, place your drive as close to the basket because it might be wind affected. Yeah, really. But there is a lot of holes on this course uh, working like this. Really like technical shots at the start or at the end, but you have also that mix between those open areas and those, those wooded place. Jonathan. Can he make another one? He was putting strong so far. It's such a death putt and he makes it so cool. He just keeps the fire. Wow. wow. And then with that, oh wow, beautiful putt from Unatan while Elias is missing. What a putt from Unatan. He's really comfortable with those C2's, uh, C2 C2's putt. It's great. Straight line, spin putts. It's great. Yeah, just the way the disc flies. Yeah, it doesn't so move. Like it's just going for it. 
no matter what. And everybody takes a bar. So Yunatan is making the job, man. If he had he had not rolled from uh from that hill on hole eleven, his card would be freaking awesome. <laughs> Great recovery from him. So hole seventeen now. You have a ninety-four meters bar three. So two options on this hole. So you go with your forehand on the left over that bush to go to the basket. So the, that's the easiest way. If you don't feel comfortable with your forehand, you also can spike your backhand over those uh, right bushes. So it's really hard to get to the basket with the backhand. It's really tight between those last two bushes protecting the, the basket. You also have those uh, low branches on the green really hard if you're if you're even see one uh, depending on the landing zone yeah already in in round one we have seen a lot of drives ending up in some bushes or below some branches yeah definitely a tough tough get even though it's pretty short and pretty open but yeah as you can see also Jonathan just Ends up to the left. I am not sure how good his look is from there. Should be Might okay. Be. Should be okay. 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 Yeah. Birdie look definitely. Daniel going also for that Heiser road on the right. Okay, and be now... deep. Okay, yeah. we'll see if he has a look so around the basket, but uh, all those branches can. Uh, mess you with still, you i still just remember this super abstracted part from him on the on the one hole before so maybe this is just gonna be easy for daniel <laughs> who knows we never know with daniel okay another daniel one yes. taking... okay that looks really nice c1 great shot from elias it must have been such a spike shot he tombstone and this never really dropped to the ground Okay. Rasmus going. So all the group is going for the back end shot. Really high. Hard to see the disc in those clouds. Okay, short. Okay. But birdie look for sure. Of course, edge That's the way. The open. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. I think we have some options now. Let's see. Yeah, let's I would see. Say we Definitely will see some birdies. Just yeah. So you have Daniel just taking his par tranquilly. Yeah. He knows he's he's on the right path. No need to get too too excited here. One hole before the the last one. Okay, Jonathan trying to find a spot. Should be okay. Yeah. He has met some awesome putts before, so why shouldn't he catch this one? Yeah, C2 is definitely one of his comfort zone. Oh, the line was again. Great one. Great try from so Jonathan. Yeah, uh, just a little flick out of the hand. And here we see Erasmus just missing short again. Okay, and Elias. Making the bird. Good run from the Swedish player. And the rest of the group will take the par. Easy peasy. Rasmus showing the way. So let's head to hole 18. Oh, yeah. And hole 18 is an exciting one, as it is the hardest hole on the course. Also in round two, averaging 0.6, so more than half a stroke above par. It's a big par five with a length of 327 meters. There's a first fairway, which is surrounded by OB, and then you need to pitch over to the secondary island fairway. So you can find a lot of OB on this one. I'm yeah. not sure about the sweet spot. It should be around here, the sweet spot, spot with the second shot, and then 
the third shot is preferable a forehand i guess or a little turnover with a mid-range yeah depending on uh, how far your second shot is going you you will choose uh, between the forehand and backhand for sure do you think there's any option to go for an eagle on this one yeah that's hard to say because you know like you're under those trees uh on the teapad so you can't really try to spike an eyes or something and maybe maybe working with the wind maybe a, a wind you know right to left could bring the option oh hard one here but yeah mm -hmm. i think the the eagle option is really hard like uh the branch the branches are too low at the start it's pretty hard to to get to the second second fairway Jonathan with a better on his hands with a, maybe a mid range no, it's just going for the layup play trying to just push it out straight and really nice if it doesn't go oh beautiful shot so he's close from the ob zone on the left the closer you are the best situation you are uh, for the second shot yeah definitely having all options to go for a big rep from there daniel also with a mid-range yeah. pretty overstable disc Fighting beautiful shot from Daniel. So, same spot as Jonathan's. Great one. Rasmus going for it. Should be okay. This so, first shot doesn't seem too hard. No, so, it's really a placement shot. Yeah, yeah. Potential trouble maybe waits for you at the at the second and third shot, and also the basket is elevated, of course. And yeah, maybe this this hole just plays that hard as it is so long. So he's going oh, for the second fairway from uh, from there. Not able to see on cameras. We hear some applause. Should be okay for Elias. Interesting. We first we we did hear the people screaming for, but then we did hear the the applause. So yeah, that's be, that's because big. that's because nobody was expecting him to go to the second fairway, and I think the chase yeah. card were was uh, yeah, was yeah. was still there. Okay, that was just what I was about to ask if there maybe was even the the card in front just in danger. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. making the fairway. Really Just nice shot. Second shot. Good placement. Okay, Daniel will be first, Jonathan. Okay, so they go back to a distance driver here. Yeah. The distance That's the right one, now. The, the tree in front of him cut off his angle a little bit, or is it? No, you can go like, you know, really hyzer shot on the right, Vada. He's yeah. going over the OB zone and just going back to the fairway. Is okay. the option here. Yeah, to go with the hyzer is the safer shot, safest shot anyway. I would assume so. The distance between uh, the first and the second fairway is not that... Yeah, the, the, there is maybe 50, 60 meters, so the, uh, the hyzer option is totally makeable. Man, and shake that is, shot. Wow. He is going for serious distance. I guess that was Man. a breaker three. Just flipping it up to straight to straight and using all the glide of the disc for an amazing second shot. Yeah, exactly. And really wasn't afraid by the by the OB zone on the right, trusting his disc. So now he has Daniel has a pretty short approach to go double digits on the round. We didn't see a double, double digit round on this course for the whole tournament so far. So he's really doing something special. Yeah, yeah, really. So clean. Well, Elias, he didn't give up his birdie. <laughs> 
even though his, his first shoot was super errant. Okay, just turned it over a little bit too much. He just seems to rip every shot he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He's just committing to his thing. Exactly. Oh, is that even allowed? A bag caddy? Someone was, was riding the bag over there. <laughs> no, maybe it was just another player already finishing his round. Exactly. Now spectating the best group. So, going for the birdie here. So, as you were talking about, back in turnover with the mid-range, I guess. Taking time to focus. Oh, no. Not even turnover. Going straight to the basket. Well, oh, what a shot. Beauty from Yonatan. Really perfect. Oh, wow. Uh, Yonatan's totally in the groove. Like, he just plays his shot perfectly. Let's see what the other guys can do. I'm just looking forward to see what Daniel actually has left here. Oh, no. First, we're looking at Rasmus. Sorry for that. Daniel must be so close after his second. Yeah, yeah. Definitely makes his second shot was so long. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful turnover for Rasmus as well. Mm, not sure if he was Obi or not. Obison oh. is really close from the basket, just behind, maybe 10, 12 meters. Okay, okay. Yeah, that disc slid quite away on this hard packed ground. And yeah, Daniel only with a part of forehand into the basket. Let's see. Looks pretty decent. Skip. Okay. Not so close from the basket. He will have to work for the birdie. But again, we are talking about Daniel here. He left himself a little tester putt. I think the way his putting looked throughout the round, he's going to have no issues there. Yeah, should be okay. So let's see. I think Elias is up now. And as we see in the background, gallery is already filling up. Everyone wants to see the lead cut finish. And yeah, hmm, not the best upshot upshot from Elias. Man, he went so quickly on that fifth one. Yeah, I was there at the end of the round, and he seemed really nervous about his round. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I can understand. Still, very young guy, lots lots of stuff to come for him. And here we have Daniel. Can he finish at 10 down? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Great shot from Daniel. <laughs> Amazing showing from him in the first two rounds. That's a back-to-back 10-41 rated round, first round and second round. Rasmus, is he putting for par or for birdie? For birdie. Oh, oh no. He was OB. So he was OB. Yeah. Wow. Again, so. Yeah, it was a bit hard for uh, Rasmus, also for Ilias on this round. Happens. Here we have Jonathan finishing off his last hole, probably with a good putt for bird. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem for him. Yeah, excellent putt there. Great finish here too. Wow, minus seven. That's a decent round as well. Yeah, yeah. And even more with that double bogey. And a bogey for Elias to finish the round. Yeah, and just like that, we will definitely see some changes in our leader group for tomorrow. So that's how... We finish with the second round, two different situations. So you have Daniel and Yunatan just rocking the course, just one mistake from Yunatan on hole 11. Ilias and Rasmus a bit struggling with uh, the second round. We'll need to bounce back tomorrow on the third. Let's move to the top 10 table. We see some changes in the leaderboard here. Daniel still leading the way, having a five strokes lead now over Yunatan. Jonas Alto and Severi Savignemi just joining our lead card tomorrow. And that was the second round. Yeah, thank you for joining us, uh, everybody. Thank you to you guys, Stan and Mose, for this amazing experience. Yeah, see you tomorrow for the next round. All right, cheers, guys. See you later.
Goodbye.